Welcome to the show. How are you? How are you doing? We have missed you. It's been a couple of days without you, but we are glad you are here with us for your favorite tea time here on your favorite channel, Ebru TV. This is Let's Talk, and my name is Lydia KM. My name is Dana DeGrazia, and we're here with our special new guest host. <gasps> Can she introduce herself? Drum rolls, please. Yes. It is. Yes. <laughs> your girl is is here my name is lily aisha mm -hmm. and i am so glad to be on this table we're so happy to You're have welcome. you like first of all it's going to be aisha on his table yeah with yeah. the white <laughs> let's do the nail cam look how your, her nails can we know oh. amazing ah, she did not come to play yeah Ain't nobody, nobody got time play. for play man no <laughs> new year who dis <laughs> But not only do we new year, new clothes, we also have new topics to talk about because we know that you guys, you're here for the tea, just like we are. So it's time for hot talk. Okay. Is your men's beef your beef? Point blank question. Point, point, point blank, blank period, yes. Does right? he want me to, to fight with him? No, though? here's the thing, yeah. Like, or is that, do you, I feel no, inheriting right? beef. For example, okay. uh -huh. you and my men mm -hmm. have a problem. Uh -huh. Now me and you have a problem. No one has said that I'm gonna attack you personally yeah. about it, but you know we can't we can't simply we can't be anymore. friends. Yeah, simple, short, friends. and we can. Oh, oh, we oh. can. Okay, we can. Let's oh, listen to the Tell dissenting us. opinion. <laughs> your beef with my man is your, your beef. beef. Okay. My beef with you is we're separate people. Are I you mean, kidding me? I mean, we can't we can't be living like that, guys. It's 2019, <laughs> guys. But what? Why would you be beefing with someone who has no? No form of issue with you. Okay, uh -huh. let me tell you. Let, let, let's spin it. Because let me tell you this, yeah. <laughs> with I love our Women Crush Wednesdays and everything. But, but women, we are so hell-bent when it's our side. But when it's his. True. So let's say you've got you and your man. And me and you are cool. And then I, um, and I disrespect you. But your man is still sipping tea with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you, boo? <laughs> Do you, boo? <laughs> what? I don't think that's a problem. Like, that's your, as in, we're all separate people. Like, but what just, happens if that other person wants to talk about the beef with you then? Because you know, it's like, obviously, eventually you're going to get dragged into that confrontation. No, just don't do that. If, <laughs> just, if you have a problem with my man, please. Mm. Any Hand, problem you have with my man, like an adult. deal with my man. Uh -huh. If you have a problem with me, deal with me. Don't come telling my man, oh, so you know. Aisha, no, no, no. Mm. Now, if you do that, now you're going to have beef Now that's the problem. Now that's the problem. I categorically 100% disagree with you <laughs> respectfully, <laughs> as beautiful as you look today. But no. <laughs> if for, um, the, the relationship, the way we are set up or the way we're intended to set up mm -hmm. is that it's a me and you thing. We are part of a team. Yeah. That's the same way. There's no way my sister is sipping tea with someone who's got beef with me. Oh, no, Not my sister, that's a problem. No, but there's no difference. <laughs> blood is Sorry, different. Blood I'm is writing different. for you the same way. Yeah, blood is very different. I'm writing for you the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, I feel like, obviously, the, the blood is different from, like, the actual relationship. Yeah. I think where I could see it as, like, I wouldn't necessarily follow it is if, let's say, you have an issue with, like, someone who's really close in my life. If you, as my man, have an issue with, like, God forbid, like my boss or something, and mm -hmm. then that causes like an issue in my life, mm -hmm. then y'all need to sort it out really quick and I cannot take a side in that. Yeah. Like, because then I'm not gonna give up my career versus my man and have to weigh those options out. So see? I'm just trying to think of like, what is an adult problem that I feel like I can step into, you know? Cause most, most of those small issues, are, they're little, you no, know, let they're me stupid. There's the difference between, you know, like inheriting the beef and yeah. jumping into the beef. Mm. Jumping into the be beef is juvenile. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I don't know what, what you guys are even telling yeah. each other. I'm not part of that. Exactly. Like whatever problem you guys have is between you guys. Mm -hmm. However, my point is that I do draw a line. Yeah. If there's a problem that you have a problem with my boyfriend and vice versa, there's a line, mm -hmm. it's drawn. Like, I'm on this side, yeah. and there's a kind of level of entertaining that I just won't do with you, mm -hmm. and I expect the same thing with him. Like, how, how, is, how are we even a team if someone mm -hmm. who has hard done me wrong, <gasps> you're out here sipping tea with them? I cannot even understand it. The same way my ROD friends, I don't expect you to jump in every a friend, a friendship beef, yeah. but there's something someone would do to me that you yourself would be like, okay... The fact that you do that to her, like, wh who are you? It will show you. Yeah, it will, it even, will show you. I right. always say that mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, like, why would you, that would even, like, stop you from having an extended life. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm beefing with my man, mm -hmm. I mean, um, someone is beefing with my man, and mm -hmm. probably that guy is my friend, mm -hmm. then I won't end up having friends because of the beef <laughs> my man and that guy has. Yeah. Like, I just feel 
like in 2019, just mind your, your own business. business. <laughs> wow. Just mind your own Let business. You. I'm sorry, babe. Bring I don't the adulthood, have no babe, the adulthood to the table, soon. why don't you? <laughs> so future I can babe really <laughs> of Lily, um, of Asha, future babe, understand that Ukipigo makofi uko outside. You're on your own, my good friend. By the way, legit. You're on your own. I'm sorry. This is a warning. We're not going to agree. First show, we're in the heat, okay? We're not agreeing. We're in heat. I, I, I just need to move past this. Yes. Please. We need, we're going to We're gonna get away from this because we're We're kind of jumping the gun here. Here we are talking about, you jump in your man's beef, ni 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 But now we're talking about, like, how do you even get in that relationship anyways? Because right now, a lot of people are having these issues of finding... Let's be honest, particularly men mm -hmm. who stray away from commitment. Yeah. There was an article posted about like five reasons why men feel they won't get into a committed relationship. Right. Some of them to me sound funny. Okay, they're short, so we're just going to go through them. The first one is searching for success. Some men would rather have it all before thinking about committing to a relationship. Let me tell you something. Being with a partner will push you if they're the right person. Exactly. If they're the right person. But I empathize. Mm. I empathize with that. I get there's, the feeling. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a way you are when you're like um, on your own. Yeah. Like first, even the, the time spent on a relationship would you, would go to your career. Yeah, true. And then there's a reason why when you are so going so hard track on your career, mm -hmm. you don't find time for a relationship because the time in a relationship is a lot. Absolutely. Yeah, I can empathize. Talk, talk about it. Just mm. be like, you know what, babe, I know when we were dating, mm. when we were just young in this, I had time for you. We're not young mm. anymore. But now, you know, you know, we have plans of marriage and everything. Mm. I think that's to work. That's very true. Because I don't want your auntie coming here to say, who you had to have now. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want that. So. so the next one, it's so funny, this is what it goes to, because the next topic is freedom. Mm -hmm. So here, some people are saying, oh, they're staying single, they want the success, ni, 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 ni. but then... Really, what they want is the freedom. Yeah. Really, they're not doing it for the hustle. They're doing mm. it because they want to have the cake and eat it. But let's be honest. It's true. Mans don't want to just stick <laughs> but to one. But let me do this. Yeah. <laughs> Women want freedom too, bro. Women do want to like stick freedom do. too. We, we want do our want freedom. To. I don't want to be able. To, I don't want to have to be like mm -hmm. checking in on someone all the time or everything that I do now is like around a relationship. True. That's a commitment. You've Ooh, got to yeah. be deeply in love to enjoy those things. Very true. I truly enjoy them. But you know, when you are like yeah. outside, when you're single, when you think about it, yeah. it sounds stressful. It's Absolutely. Too much work. Yeah. Personally, for me, I feel like. Like, if a relationship is good, mm. you don't lose a lot of freedom. I don't understand this concept of, like, your entire life will change after you got married. Mm. Mine didn't. Mm -hmm. I feel fine. Like, I'm not dying. Mm -hmm. You still <laughs> hang out with your friends, like... Yeah. Like, Yo, like I, as much as you used to when you were single? I will admit, though, I, not like, kind of went out a lot before. I went. <laughs> so I get tired. But I still go out, and I'll go out without him. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just... This whole thing of like people stray away from commitment because they think everything needs to change. Yeah. And if you feel that much pressure on your relationship, mm. I feel like it's, it's not the relationship right. with having. Mm. So the next, because it should be fun. The next one is, what if it doesn't work out? Everybody feels that. Let yeah. me read the last two. The next one, he doesn't feel financially prepared, which yeah. I think relates to the first one. Mm -hmm. And the next one is lack of excitement. All three of those things, like lack of excitement. Why are you dating anyone anyways if she's not exciting? Yeah, if they yeah. don't bring I don't that's... know, like guys, I generally empathize with every single one of those uh, reasons. Like, uh, I'm in a don't relationship waste my and time. happy with it. And it's not just about guys. Even mm. women, those apply to guys just as much. Maybe not the finance the fi finance things. Yeah. Maybe men think a lot about, you know, money, Can you know, I provide? providing. Can yeah. I, you know, men think about it that way a lot more. Yeah. But the rest of them, when I was single, mm. I did think about all of those. Yeah. I was like, you know, like now I'm trying to focus on my career. Like all that time is good. A lot of my time is going to go here yeah. and et cetera, et cetera. Etc. You know, um, also you feel like you know you don't want to get in there, and then it ends. Yeah. That, you know, you don't just don't want to invest. Yeah. But there's a there's a point which you made, which is like basically underneath all of these, mm -hmm. people are afraid to get into committed relationship because of the idea of what that means. Absolutely. Present. You know, the kind of the ideologies that are out there when people are committed mm -hmm. is you know before I take a step, I gotta ask you before I breathe. We've got to like consult with it. Everywhere nah. we go, we have to go together. <laughs> Your career has to stop. Yeah. It's yeah. not all the time that you get in a relationship with someone yeah. who actually 
doesn't want you to work. Some people, especially in 2019, are like, why don't you have a job? Well, exactly. Why yeah. do you not have We thing? need to do a 50-50. You know what I'm yeah. So, like, We're both all those concepts are, like, ideas. And when you get in yours, you can 100% tailor fit it. Absolutely. If you are with the right person where you can communicate, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I like. This is what I don't like. These are my boundaries, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can totally tailor fit your relationship. But I get the fear. Mm -hmm. Please get with, um, on our text tone, 40975. And the hashtag is Ebru. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. What about I think, you? I just feel... What you're talking about now, because I'm just like, you're married, you're in a relationship, mm. means single. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just thinking, the, these reasons can even be a reason as to why women do not want to commit. Like, I yeah. just want... Why we don't bother yeah, either. I just want something, you know, let's just get it on <laughs> and just move on. There's always that. Like, you want yeah. a light, you want the something kind of lighter, warmth, yeah. but you don't want the commitment. But do you know, actually, us... People can like, want it. Some, not some of us, I won't put myself in that category, please, but some other women mm -hmm. just want to be the man just for the bedroom game, and that's it. I can't relate, but yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. not saying I've never been there. Like I'm we just, saying that it happens. That's it a hard concept for me to grasp. For really? Right oh, yeah. but no, you know the thing is, she's very feeling. I'm Lydia's a Pisces. Oh, Pisces I'm a feeler yes. of things. Yes. Yeah, so I think I'm the complete. The physical, <laughs> the physical is very connected to the emotional. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, like it has to be. I disagree. Yeah, no. <laughs> for me personally, of course, I appreciate that there are people who can separate it, and I yeah. think, oh my God, what an easy life you all must have. <laughs> but you know, um, it is. I have, it is it's all life. in the mind. I had my fun before I was married. Don't get me wrong. It's all in the mind. You just have to program your mind and be like, you know what, man, yeah. we're not going to have something, you know. Yeah. But like a relationship, yeah. we're just going to do our thing. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> do our thing and move on. But uh, it becomes hard sometimes for a woman because mm -hmm. even if you're doing it constantly, mm -hmm. yeah. there's a part of you, a small part of you that really wants this man all the time. So you end up having this emotional connection to this man. Mm -hmm. So yes, you it's it's there that you'll just want some game with this man. Yeah. But somewhere you Around start having, way. like, you know, because he's always there. He's always available. <laughs> right. I think we, we actually uh, talked about this in a previous mm -hmm. show about, like, friends with benefits. And I think the point that, like, I see is, first of all, you're not going to have that kind of relationship with anything, anyone you find annoying. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you're going to still, like, get along with them yeah. to a point. So I see how emotions could, like, develop. Yeah. But... <laughs> Well, how do, I, how do I say this? It's <laughs> no, like, it's true. I feel like, like it's just the, like it's, the, the it's most, kind of an accepted norm. Yeah, that the that most happens. upfront you can be, mm -hmm. the better it is. Mm -hmm. Because if we're talking about like what are the signs that maybe she specifically is only in it for that thing, she mm -hmm. should have told you from the beginning. First of all, mm -hmm. if she was only there for the fun, mm -hmm. she should have been more upfront about it. In my but opinion, but women are very upfront about that. I feel mm. like men are the ones who are not. I it's think because they yeah. think it's better. They, they think it's better to yeah, lie. Yeah, just let's change this girl. And in the middle, that woman will fall for you. Mm. And yeah. when she does, you start telling your guys, I thought it was just, she's a yeah. leech. She's always, bruh, it's your fault. Yeah. Mm. But is it, um, can, I, can I just, you know, shout out to the boy child? I'm really trying to root for you guys. <laughs> can we, um, can Every we not time. like, mm. yeah, I tried. <laughs> um, can we try to be like, you know, there's kind of a way in which women are not always necessarily free with that conversation Super that true. makes it like it's only a natural reaction that yeah. the guy feels like he needs to tell you about the commitment yeah. and getting married to be able to go there. Yeah. Like, maybe traditionally, women now maybe well, are a bit more open. women are not expected to be yes. open. So, so now, yeah, exactly. From. Guys, you know, feel like they got to tell you, you know, I'm going to marry you, I'm going to do this, I'm yeah. going to have this conversation with you and we're going to do this. You're going to so be the that they of my children. Yes! So you, they Good can kind job. of put it, they can make you feel a, a kind of for security it's about true. like you know being a bit more free sexually mm -hmm. you know so maybe the more women we just are like listen it's okay listen i want to do what i want to do and this is what i want to do i want to get down and that's what i want mm -hmm. maybe then we'll kind of have a culture of you know people just coming and putting it like yeah down straight out but man should be doing that like don't be afraid just come tell me so that in the middle i'm not there feeling like I want happen. this to be my husband. And in his mind, he's like, you are nowhere close to that. Yeah. <laughs> you are my number five. Yeah. Like, You're just part of just a let list. me know. Let's be open. You know? Yes. If you've seen me. In the spirit of honesty, <laughs> let's be honest, guys. There okay. are some things that your other person should mm -hmm. not know about you. Yes. And, oh, that was a strong <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Because yes. I, I, I have, like, the list in my head. Yeah? Yeah. There are a million like things which we say that our partners <laughs> should, not know about, um, should not know about us. Yeah, and so I know you're sat there right now thinking we must 
you want to share yours, so you definitely need to get on the text on 40975 mm -hmm. or get on the hashtag Ebru Let's Talk and tell us what are some of the things you believe that your partner sh has no business knowing. I'm going to read um, um, some of them. Well, there's a list even too. There I is was just a ready list. to give my list. No, so <laughs> number one, um, it's your sexual history, yeah. your body count, that someone at work or anywhere else where, who you have a crush on, mm -hmm. um, uh, so that you have a crush on somebody else, obviously, and that you don't, li you don't like their parents, definitely. <laughs> That's <laughs> um, that you stopped, um, you snoop through their stuff, and mm -hmm. that you, you still talk to your ex. Okay, I feel like the last one is a bit sketchy because we've talked about it before, and it's like oh, that could, up, tell me that about could that. air uh, on the side of like you're intentionally lying. That is a lie. Yeah, like okay. that's and that's intentionally. Yeah. But this whole thing of like body count, it's like you have even health wise, mm. there's no need for you to know an exact number. Yeah, the only thing you have to know is about like testing and things 100%. like that. You got to know how I am now. You yes. don't got to know how I was five years and ago. And no matter what has happened over there, if I am it's clean not here. And late now yeah. then you know I'm here but if you do have something I, I believe if you have a condition which somebody else needs to know or something like mm -hmm. you know something that maybe might prohibit uh, maybe how your reproductive system works Absolutely. that's the information the other person should know yeah. about crushes yes shut up I, okay, the thing about I, crushes... I'm going to tell my mom that I have a crush on Trey Songz. Like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 I'm never going to yeah. meet Idris yeah. Elba. He doesn't have to care. Those ones are funny. We're talking about that colleague. Yeah. Oh, you know oh, that Joe oh, at oh, work? Oh, 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 no, no, no. You're not about to do because that. Because that, <laughs> that just causes unnecessary drama, you Yeah. Know? And tension yeah. and trust issues. Mm -hmm. yes. You don't want that. Absolutely. Anything to do with crushes, please um, completely stay out of it. If you don't like his parents, you need to repress that thought okay, to the back. I have, such, I have such a story about that. It was like not with please don't tell me. What not to with tell me. Someone. Not with me because I love my in laws. Yeah. But let's just say I've I have only one sister, so I guess I can't spill it. Mm -hmm. She was having issues with her mother in law at the beginning of their marriage, and it's like I was sitting with her and we were chatting, and her hubby I like I didn't even think about it. Her hubby was like sitting ten feet away, and I was like, Yeah, are you still having issues with his mom? And she looks at me like all oh, the blood rushes oh, oh, oh. out of her face, and I'm like, and she's like. And I yes. left that night, and she, and she was like, they got into a huge fight about it. And I'm like, but shouldn't... The thing about for me is, is it's I feel like when you get so deep in the relationship, they're going to find out anyways. But don't say flat out, like, I think your mom is of this. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like she hates me and I hate her. Mm -hmm. Just be like, I'm not seeing eye to eye with your parents, mm -hmm. and I want to know why I'm not seeing eye to eye with your parents. Yeah. But the moment it starts getting to insults and all this stuff, don't do what I did, guys. I think you should <laughs> tell if... There are these open things, like you can clearly tell, even you as the yeah. son, you mm -hmm. can tell for sure, my mom treats issue. my lady like this. They yeah. can't always tell. It's so obvious. Let me tell you. But that, that's that because thing, they don't want to see. They, yeah, they don't, that, they see. don't want to see. Yeah. But the things that are so obvious, even like your sisters can see, even yeah. that boy's mother, I mean, um, auntie and even sisters yeah. and cousins can see. If mm -hmm. it's such an issue, then I feel like, you know, it'd be like, and yeah, let's let's assume my boyfriend is called Joe. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joe. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're going to say, uh, Joe, out. surely, you saw what your mom yeah. did. Yeah. Those things you can talk about. Yeah. But because you feel like she sends you too much or she tells you to wash utensils, girl, mm. just sit on that issue. Those yeah. small, small, choose your battles. Yeah, when yeah. It comes exactly. To choose exactly. your battles. Exactly. Take a deep breath and put it in the back of my mind. <gasps> I feel like I'm the person who, because, first of all, if you don't like my mom, you've got to go. You so then <laughs> I, before I come to, who doesn't like to my you mom? to mm. tell you that something is so difficult with your mom that, like, now it's getting to me, mm -hmm. yeah. it's going to take a long time. I can be a champion. With in-laws, yeah. you guys, you've You'll got to be, through. you absolutely have to yeah, be a champion. To be and I, and it, it needs to be both ways. For mm -hmm. example, your, your new boyfriend can't be coming of your view to tell me about what his mom thinks, especially in a negative way. Yeah. If your mom doesn't like me, I also want us to see through it a little bit mm -hmm. before you tell me because yeah. that is Let's so heavy on someone. Yeah. 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 We yeah, figure it's, out why. We figure out why. You ask questions why. Mm -hmm. You, know? you see the, um, the mother-in-law's one, yeah. which, are, which are the ones which are the ones you pointed, the, the obvious ones. The obvious They're usually the obvious, obvious judging. Ones. Obviously Those ones judging. are good. <laughs> but the ones which are like... Sit quiet. For example, um, you're in a relationship um, mm. with someone and the way their family setup is, is like maybe like the mom is the one who says. Mm -hmm. You know, so you guys have no freedom whatsoever in your relationship. Yeah. How are you communicating that? Because he's going to believe that this is how things should run. Yeah. Because that's how it's always run. 
But I, like, oh. I feel like he knows that. Mm? He knows that mm. my mom says, when my mom says jump, we ask how high. Yeah. So if we're getting into that relationship, please just warn me. Be mm. like, oh, so my mom is a bit... Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Give me a heads up. he knows. Let me tell you, they know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They know they just want to be like, eh, mm -hmm. we can't see. But mm -hmm. they know. So if you know your mom is those type of people, just, yeah. just let me know. So that when she starts, I'm like... Mm -hmm. I know this. I know what you're about to do exactly. and I'm not going to you jump into that. Yeah. yeah. First of all, I think prepared. that I've never thought about it that way. I've always felt like, you know, no, I want to go. This is too much. But um, the matter in the conversation Patience. can go on forever and ever and yes. ever. Yes. But do let us know um, what do you think. What are some of the things which your partner absolutely should not know? What are some of the things you have personally hidden from your partner? Please talk to us. The SMS line is 40975. And our hashtag is Ebru Let's Talk. You're going to want to keep on those because after this break, we have a phenomenal woman for Woman Crush Wednesday. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Welcome back to your favorite tea time here on your favorite channel, Ebru Let's Talk. And we are serving the tea today. And it's Wednesday, so how about we do the most amazing Woman Crush Wednesday. Woman Crush every day. Um, and now this woman, she is a media personality and she has been recognized everywhere for her efforts to empower the female. So let me just introduce her. It's none other than Adele Onyango. Here. Oh my Thanks goodness. Thanks for having me, guys. You Thank look beautiful. You so Thanks. You guys Kind too. of as always. <laughs> you yes. like passed me on the stairs. <laughs> yes. And, you know, of course I knew who you were. So you, you have this big smile like, ha! Huh? And I'm like... She's, she's always happy. Yeah, Adele yeah, is I always know. happy. Yeah, because yeah, like I've seen you guys and of course the show and yeah. I'm just like, if I say hi, <laughs> like we know each other, but it, I feel like we know each other because I watch the show. So. It was so thanks, just, thanks, guys. the warm, big smile, you know? Thank you. Thank you I feel so like I'm a guest on your here. show. <laughs> wow, thanks. Um, when I, first of all, when I first came into, I guess, contact with who mm -hmm. you were, mm -hmm. it was about um, your um, 100 women, um, BBC women um, okay. in 20. 17. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess there's a lot of people around who know you from that perspective yeah. more than even like um, mm -hmm. radio yeah. and all these other things. Yeah. Um, just to start, us all, to start us off, yeah, like how did it even come to that? How did it come to where we are now? Um, wow, that's a good question. Um, I think it just started off with just following my passion right? Mm -hmm. and just saying yes to opportunities more than no. Yeah. So even like radio was not the plan. Mm -hmm. I really studied really? PR. Yeah. yeah. I, like I was so sure I was going into PR. Yeah. I did uh -huh. um, a job shadow stroke internship at Gina Din before I went into campus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And while I was in campus, I was doing PR. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, and then because I was doing and performing poetry at the time, yeah. I got mm -hmm. invited onto the campus USIU radio station mm -hmm. to perform my poetry. Mm -hmm. And the co-host the day, that day didn't come, didn't make it to, to the show. Right. And so then what they did is let me stay the entire show. Mm -hmm. And the next weekend they kept calling me back. And the guy who was running the show recorded all our shows and sent them out to media houses because yeah. he oh. wanted to get into radio. Yeah. Right. And so, and I didn't even know so he was they doing heard that. You. Right? And so when 1FM was setting up, then that's how they called me. Out. Yeah. Yeah. And then I started doing the drive show there for mm -hmm. about two and a half years and then I moved to KISS. Yeah. That's where I am Listen, now. when yeah. it's destiny, <laughs> when it's yours, yes. it's yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was probably <laughs> the plan, but yeah. I just... You, you, did, you, you were the only know. one who didn't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was the only one who didn't know until now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But it absolutely worked yeah. out. Um, mm -hmm. Now, as far as your um, kind of passion for women, of course yeah. you're a woman, so, you know, it's not... It's like natural it, you, bias. You can tell, kind of. yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, there are so many other causes, yeah. um, you know, environment, so many other things. Mm -hmm. What about that cause mm -hmm. made you feel like, do you know what, I want to use this platform yeah. to, be, um, to be about this, to empower women? Yeah. I think it's two things. One, it's like, you know, you go, your own personal story, I believe, like, that should be your own, yeah. your human huge motivator yeah. right yeah. so um when you go through things and you realize that this shouldn't be the way things mm -hmm. should be mm -hmm. yeah and you don't want somebody else to go through it you, yeah. you do something to change that right yeah, you course. don't just mm -hmm. go like oh well <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you do something to change that and i had a really good uh, um example in my mom my mm -hmm. late mom mm -hmm. in how she used her own personal story her battle with breast cancer right. mm -hmm. to be able to then work with the kenya breast health program mm -hmm. to spread awareness to help other women who are going through the same, same. disease mm -hmm. and so that's one it's mm -hmm. your personal motivation but i yeah. think also secondly it's like african women 
I think it's, it's, it's time for us to come up with solutions to our own problems now mm -hmm. more than Same. ever yeah. and yeah. to be at the tables that make those decisions to be part of those conversations yes. yeah and so it's not about like walking into a restaurant and there's a menu of causes and be like hmm i think this <laughs> one, <laughs> which one yeah, yeah exactly it's, yeah. it's a bigger it's a bigger effort and a bigger fight yeah. to ensure that we achieve full liberation as African mm -hmm. women. Yeah. We achieve full access to opportunities as African women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our voices get heard mm -hmm. at the tables that matter. Mm -hmm. And so that's the bigger cause. How yeah. we get there is like small individual mm -hmm. yes. um, forces yeah. and, 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 and programs that everybody is doing, mm -hmm. but that's the bigger picture. I think for me, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. And you're doing, and you're yeah. doing your part, absolutely. Yeah. So Thank you briefly mentioned about like inspiration from your mom, mm -hmm. from your late mother, you said. Yeah. Have you sort of always been surrounded by these powerful women? Like, uh, do you think they're yeah. part of what has driven you other than your personal experiences? Yeah, I think so. Because in my family, um, the women are very loud. Mm. <laughs> so you do get um, it in some way. Yes. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I, I've always been surrounded by women who don't take no, mm -hmm. um, a very, everything is very possible mm -hmm. yeah. for the women in my family. Mm -hmm. Like everything is very possible. There's nothing where, I've never been brought up in a, an environment where there's things for women and there's things mm -hmm. for men and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. It's what is your dream? What, what, what sets your soul on fire? Yeah. Yeah. Go for that and everybody will come. And like when I was doing poetry open mic, like my mom and my aunties used to be, and my sisters used mm -hmm. to be at every show. And yeah. my mom was going oh, through chemo at the time, mm -hmm. right? But she would be at every show and this was this art thing that mm -hmm. nobody really understood. I had like yeah. my dress. Yeah. Like, <laughs> See, I still do yeah, 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 yeah. And so, but they were like, okay, you know, this is what she wants to do. We're all going to be there for yeah. her. So mm -hmm. I have been surrounded, luckily, by women who are, are loud, mm -hmm. but the right kind of loud, like where it's 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 you know pushing mm -hmm. each one of us mm -hmm. and pushing each other to just do whatever we're passionate about. They've taken yeah. up space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so uh, from my grand, I mean, my grandma in, in mm -hmm. the village, she's one of the leaders in the area right. all the like chamas it's in and the, the blood. Groups, and you know she's this in the farm yeah. Yeah. It's she's in, in the, the farm with people and i'm like you don't want to rest and yeah. she's there with her pants in a in a in, a, in an environment that doesn't really um you know women and how Do you kindly. dress yeah. Yeah. right oh, oh. and my grandma just like breaks barriers to date yeah. and so i think it's kind of in the blood. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> but let me ask yeah. you, Adele, when you were doing all this, since you're saying you're coming out and you had that passion to just, yeah. you know, based on your experience, did mm -hmm. you feel like, what if? What if it doesn't? Did you ever have that yeah. what if moment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I still do. Who doesn't have that <laughs> every, every day? day. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. so I, I currently just started a podcast called Legally Clueless. Mm -hmm. And it's because I, I do feel like Inspired I'm... Inspired by one of my favorite movies? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I think it's... It's it's because I was just so um, overwhelmed by what I wanted to achieve in life yeah. and not seeing examples of it around me mm -hmm. and feeling very lonely because of that. Yeah. Um, but just at the same time, trying to keep telling myself that if you feel it and if you can like vis see it in your mind, yeah. Yeah. then it can come to be. One hundred percent. Put it, put it, put mm -hmm. in the work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do it the right way. Have a good plan, and it'll come to work. Mm -hmm. And I, I still go through those moments. Mm -hmm. I think. We live in a time where people are like very perfect looking yeah, and everything is okay. Mm -hmm. But I think there's strength in being human and being emotional even when you feel like things are falling apart mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah. And being able to articulate, which is what that podcast does, yeah. to articulate those moments to know that currently, today, mm. I am feeling like yeah. this, this <laughs> exactly. is not going to work. Yeah. Like, exactly. you know, and not expecting somebody to come with the solutions, but just getting it out there yeah. and knowing that it's very normal and special. Yeah. yeah. I That's think for, um, pushing yeah. um, vulnerability as something which is normal, normal. is like step one. Yeah. Because you do have this... <sighs> Keep yeah. it together for the yeah. faith and bring yeah. inside. Yeah, like it hurts. Do. So I'm sure so many people are going to yeah. relate. Yeah. Waiting. Everybody has to bad days here. Yeah. Um, now I'm going <laughs> to ask you. Um, I mean, the idea when you all the things you've said about your mom yeah. and um, your grandma. It's you know this very strong-willed um, kind of woman. Yeah. Now sometimes I feel like um, that sometimes separates um, yeah. women. You know the 
you know, gung ho, the yeah. Rosa Parks, yeah. you know, and then there's like mm -hmm. the, you know, the mom who just wants to be at home and she just wants to take care of her family. Yeah. What do you say or how do you relate with um, the woman who literally all she wants to do, what she wants to do is take care of her family and be at home mm -hmm. and she's not really that yeah. involved with anything else? I think when we are fighting for liberation, mm -hmm. it's liberation for the, for a woman to have the choice to be whoever she Anything. wants to be. Amazing. Right? So, yeah. She can um, be that. Yeah, she can be that, and that's mm -hmm. absolutely fine. And yes. so, you know, I there's no... And I think that has been a problem. We've been fighting women globally and also right? specifically African women, yes. where African, there's like yes. one way to be an African oh, woman. There's only yeah. one yes. kind of woman yes. in Africa. And there's one narrative, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think we need more stories mm -hmm. of variety so that everybody will know like whatever my story is it doesn't look like yours or yeah. it doesn't look like yeah. mm -hmm. it's absolutely fine yeah. but i have an environment where i feel safe enough mm -hmm. and liberated enough mm -hmm. to be able to um be that story and voice that story yeah Th there's no one right way to be there a woman yeah, yeah. and i think that was a there's trap no, that exactly. you know absolutely a patriarchy like you know yeah. fed God, us that yeah. a woman after my one, one, one part two, two, three. Three. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's true but there has to be access to opportunity, equal access to opportunity mm -hmm. for all women, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of where you are, mm -hmm. what you look like, what yeah. you want to achieve in life, what your yes. story is. That's what I think some people forget or don't understand about what are we really agitating for. It's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Now, you, sorry, what was my question? Sorry. I um, no, um, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, that I, I yeah. ask that question because yeah. I always yeah. want to hear it from yeah. a million people yeah. saying that the choice to be whichever way yeah. is what we are fighting for, not yeah. one way yeah. Yeah. Um, of, of being, you yeah. know? Now, you talked about some of the experiences which you've gone through yeah. that maybe inspired this. We do, um, you know, Motivational Wednesday yeah. um, here. Is there something which, um, one of those experiences which you would like to share mm -hmm. as far as what kind of provoked this kind of need to push forward for change? I think mm -hmm. I've, over the years, mm -hmm. I've stopped um, speaking too much about personal mm -hmm. stories. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why, because sometimes it, it makes, it pushes this agenda where if it's not as bad as her If it doesn't experience. look like that, then it's not, not yeah. bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it's yeah. not bad. Yeah. And I, obviously it's no um, secret, I have survived rape, right? Mm -hmm. But I think, it comes down to you, even you guys sit it here, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going through town, yeah. you dress a certain way, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And it's not because you're going to do fitness or to run, it's so that you're not harassed, yeah. Yeah. right? Which is very It's, um, it's yeah. a societal you know, uniform. Yeah. When you're calling a cab mm -hmm. and you're alone, you have to. It crosses your mind. It like always. It? Let me just say that. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. exactly. They teach women to carry the yeah. keys. Exactly. Yeah. I know. Uh, you know the basement parkings of buildings mm -hmm. by how dark they are. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. because I'm like I'm very conscious. Alert. Yeah. yeah, and I'm mm -hmm. conscious. You become about it. keen as a woman. Exactly because mm -hmm. of you know the data shows what we're dealing with. Yeah. And I think that experience being. Um, common to all women and I cannot fault women mm -hmm. for having to do that because you have to adapt and keep yourself safe mm -hmm. because yeah. of the, mm -hmm. but I am not okay with the society being like that it is yeah. unfair, it's very unfair for us to have to think about all of that, that just to do everyday things thing. yeah. you know what I mean mm -hmm. that is not the kind of life I want for myself yes. yeah. Yeah. and I don't I, I just I'm not okay with that yeah and so I think that in itself is a motivation yeah. for mm -hmm. anybody to want to have you know those uncomfortable conversations mm -hmm. and also to push for justice where need be yeah, yeah. and um, policy change where need be although yeah. I think you know we're a country where on paper we Ooh. get everything right but you know yeah. when it's putting things in Action. effect it's another story yeah. <laughs> but I think for me, that's the problem because then people will be like, until it's as bad as rape, they don't see that these everyday things women have to mm -hmm. go through yeah, that is exactly. not okay. Yeah. It becomes uh, a comparison and a competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah um, that that brings me to the question because specific to like the industry all of us are in, yeah. you know, you're one of many women mm -hmm. who have who have really... I would I would say broken a glass ceiling, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. or at least you're there, you know, yeah. tapping yeah. it to the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bagging, yeah. Um, 
But because I feel like the women in this industry are, have to be particularly sensitive, yeah. um, being creatives, having to be more exposed to the, yeah. you know, the world, what would you say to the women who sort of want to follow in suit of what you've done and want to be in yeah. this industry? What's something you wish you knew at the beginning of your career? Um, I don't know what I wished I knew because it wasn't the plan. So <laughs> I, 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 remember. I didn't know that anything. Wasn't the plan, right? I didn't know anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I think for those of us who are already inside, there needs to be like a push to be able to get into the rooms that matter yeah. and not accept to just be the faces. A seat at yeah. the table. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, to dictate how our stories are told. We're still, yeah. even in this country, having a problem mm -hmm. with how print media is writing stories that deal with, let's say, if it's rape or, oh my you know God. what I mean, yeah. the word The difference how women use. are spoken versus yeah, yeah, how men yeah. are spoken. Mm -hmm. And um, so who is at the top? Who is in those boardrooms? Mm -hmm. yeah. Besides oh, that, yeah. and I think okay. for us, we need to now push to get in mm -hmm. and start making the changes from the inside so that even as we have cleared the path, mm -hmm. the guys getting in don't like reach this yeah. block. This like, you know, where, 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 where yeah. we are. The end. <laughs> yeah, but I think also it's to know that um, your story is very worthy. Like whatever, mm -hmm. um, whatever background you've come from, yeah. um, the, it's not, success is not determined. And I know it's been in the media propagated where you have to look a certain way, you have to talk a certain exactly. way, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. And it Be really, uh, you know, conditions people to believe and women to believe that that's not for me because I do not look mm. anything like, yeah. you know, like I mean? a checklist. Yeah. I'm not this, yeah. I'm not this. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just to keep pushing past those, that conditioning yeah. that we're trying to change on the inside out yeah. mm -hmm. um, and, and, and just break those doors, you know, break in. Mm. And now maybe it's, it's slightly easier Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the with the rise of access to the internet and mm -hmm. stuff like that, yeah. so don't fall into the fear of the unknown or the fear of failure and stuff like that. Just mm -hmm. start, just start. Tell yeah, those cool. stories that you want to tell because, I mean, for example, you have and she's one of your um, your colleagues, mm -hmm. Claire, mm -hmm. um, and Shout Claire, out Claire. Yeah. Yeah. and Claire is fantastic. She's so my initiative and has partnered with with uh, to help her push mm -hmm. an event that she has and the, w the cause that she's pushing mm -hmm. is, is ending period poverty mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know having conversations of how do we teach young boys and girls mm -hmm. about menstruation how to normalize from primary it. school mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. why do we send the boys out of the room yeah mm -hmm. um so I, I i love that she's um and obviously you know that's going to be on the 13th of april yeah. but i every one of us who's inside has like this huge up hoppers, mm -hmm. you know, and we just have to find a way to, how do we bring it? Yeah. How do to, we bring it to the to table? To direct it. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have to commend the women who are in the industry who are already doing a really good job. Yeah. That, I yeah. love what Adele is saying because yeah. I'm yeah. just like, we girls at this age right now need to understand that you have to go through the process and understand it and just be in it mm -hmm. and it's okay for you to have faults. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Like it's fine. Don't want to be everything that we is all out have there. To be yeah. in we yeah. all have faults. So yeah. it's, it's okay. Yeah. Whatever fault you have, try yeah. and work on your strength mm. to just cover up that yeah. fault. Like, yeah. it's, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. It's evolving. Other, str yeah. Yeah. It's evolving. Other strengths. And the way you forward. there's a way you talk that just makes everything like it's going to be okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So soft. Like, like, she's doing this. The Morgan Freeman of feminism. Like, listen, we're going to push through it. The way you're to add that to my bio. <laughs> it's not a <laughs> really fight. Good. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of like this gracious way of bringing yeah. about change. Yeah. And you know, as much as you're saying that you are um, loud and everything, but the way I you am. communicate... Well accessibility. Is so <laughs> no, accessibility is so important. Yeah. 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 Um, how have you um, tangibly or what are some of the things which you have done or yeah. um, you've been able to kind of, how you've been able to push forward, um, you know, women empowerment, like, you know, yeah. what are the things you're doing on the ground? Yeah. So I'm... I found that I'm passionate about two things, youth and women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like it's unfortunate that they fall under marginalized communities. <laughs> yeah. In terms Half of the, the data, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why it was important for me to, in 2017, like just try and understand the young people who follow me mm -hmm. and try and, 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 and understand what their problems are, mm -hmm. but also to understand what their solutions are. Yeah. And so it meant registering the members of Team Adele, yeah. and which basically is the banner for our youth program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we registered them. I think now we had 4,100 wow, right. um, 
you know, registered members. Because yeah. data, yeah, yeah, data is key to understand the problem. Yeah. yeah. And then I worked with different partners to create programs that can help young people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, with FUSU, we have the job shadow. In fact, on Saturday, we have the orientation for the job shadow program, the selected candidates, wow. just to prepare them for the workplace and what does that look mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Um, and, and even in terms of the youth, I'm very key on leadership. And so I'd identify, obviously, hanging out with them who there's something with this one, let's wow. put them in top of mm -hmm. this. And just let them kind of like carry it and see where that goes mm -hmm. for them. Um, but even in doing that is making sure that there's representation. I think we have to be proactive about the people we do business with yeah. and yeah. our own businesses. And is there representation of women? Yeah in the is it, leadership it, is mm -hmm. it sustainable in, exactly yeah. like are you what side of history? walking the talk yeah. you know you can yeah. be talking, talking about one thing and not walking yeah. the talk mm -hmm. and so that's very key for for the initiative and it's yeah. key for me even on a personal level yeah um in terms of di specifically women obviously i have no means no which gives access to free therapy straightforward for, for mm -hmm. um survivors of rape yeah but i think no, I think, I know this year. <laughs> um, the plan is to really have drive conversations mm -hmm. that, you know, put a lens on our culture. Yeah. And, and say, okay, if we're talking about rape culture, or we're talking about street harassment, or we're talking about um, why a woman's no is not really... Sexuality you know, yeah. in an African because context. Because if you look at the data, yeah. even in terms of, like, women being murdered, mm -hmm. even in Kenya, yeah. in South Africa, in relationships, mm -hmm. when they want to leave... And, this, you know, it's a bit scary. Mm -hmm. yeah, so absolutely. I think solutions start first with conversation and mm -hmm. I'm currently about to roll, up, roll out rather um, a new platform where those frank conversations can be had mm -hmm. and so that people really start to understand the seeds mm -hmm. that has grown into this problem and the monster that we're having today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we start understanding the seed and knowing, okay, let's not water that seed. How can we just, you know, mm -hmm. get rid of it from the, the roots up? So that's going to be coming out um, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. That's what is amazing. amazing. Yeah. You know, yeah. I wake up and I do my makeup and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> that is a long day, you know? I, I feel you. Right? It's, it's a fantastic days, reminder. It's a fantastic the, reminder, though, to, yeah. like, meet someone who mm -hmm. reminds you it's like you have the same amount of hours as everyone else. Yeah. But speaking of those hours, we've been having a fantastic conversation. Mm -hmm. We want to end yeah. it on a, on a quite a, a light note. Yeah. You asked early what we're going to do. Oh, it's time for game time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it won't be. It won't be bad. Yeah, and um, what are we doing for game time? So it is a classic, truth or dare. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. <laughs> All I see is mess Yeah, with first them. of all, there's, there's quite a bit to it. We had to, you know, spice things up because the, the amazing was I just coming. feel like this is, <laughs> it setup. looks like it a won't witch be bad. I guess, <laughs> I feel like as it's like the game master, yeah. I should go first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'm assuming I, I pick here, yeah? Let's, 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 at least we have, it looks nice. So those are the questions you're what? picking? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Question. So, have you ever cheated on your partner? Y'all really want to, like, end my marriage, don't you? <laughs> no, no, current. Current okay. partner, no. Have I ever cheated on any partner? Yeah, because he cheated on me. <laughs> I was one of those revenges. Um, so, yes. So, boom. But not current. Nobody come for me. Okay. Um, what lie have you told that hurt someone? Oh. Never told a lie that I can. Re I feel like I should probably eat something now because I can't remember it. If you can't remember, you better back that water, honey. <laughs> so is it just like I, I drink this water? It, it's salt water. It's there's a, a pile of a salt bit, yeah. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's not gonna water. happen. You, I'm gonna though. eat this piece of garlic, but mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> it's no, way bigger guys. than I thought it was. Oh my yuck. <laughs> Oh my dear. And just swallow it whole. I, don't, don't bite. Oh, girl. Just don't talk to anyone after this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's cheating. Oh my god. But that's also helpful. Oh, it didn't for work. You. Yeah, it's healthy for you. <laughs> I am answering all the questions. I saw. Uh, I'd rather just be the honest. Thing is, let me tell you something about my lying. My lying is really only to cover my own booty. I've never actually lied to hurt someone. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay, if, so, yeah. As far as I can remember. I oh will my admit, God. though, I, I probably wasn't the nicest teenager. Yeah. <laughs> this is so much pressure. <laughs> if I knew, I'd just not tell. I know. We would have all called God, in God, I sick. prayed Can in the morning. Like, ah. I'm trying to zoom in and see. I know, right? Oh, my God. First of all, it's a dare. Kai. What? Oh, no. Oh. I forgot that. Okay. So what is oh. it? Oh! 
Oh, read, it, read, it, read, it, read it. Sorry, I can't read. Oh. Sorry. Are you? Are you? Eat a teaspoon of any item on the table. A teaspoon. I'm oh not sure what is on this God. table. First of all. First of all, that water scared me. So. I'll take this because it looks like it has salt. Yes, it's a very salty one. Eat and no. drink. No. Yeah, it's <laughs> eat. It's eat. It's eat, sis. Eat some of this. Like don't this, eat water. This fried pepper. I think that's soy sauce. What's this? Oh, don't do that. That's butter. Ah, I think no, that's I'm straight oh butter. <laughs> this is chili. Oh, I'm my God. <laughs> but having a whole. I would love. I would oh, absolutely love to have that. The headline for the next Man day is like. <laughs> Like evil TV At show makes sweetheart eat yeah. butter. Is it hard? Oh my god! It's hard, and this is what I chose to eat. Okay. Uh, At least it'll taste better. No, it's still. Oh. Oh. We believe. But then you'll come back and have your tea. We're oh, so welcoming. Missing. You go, girl. You got this. Go, Be go, a go. champion. You are going to pay for this. Whoever did this, what? you're going to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. You're you have stronger to swallow it. <laughs> Another dare? Yeah, that's true. Oh, Take so an embarrassing selfie and post it on your as your profile picture. What? Oh my god, this thing is so ill. <laughs> yes, so man, it's like I post it on like your private. <laughs> right. We should all have like you fake have a profile account. The dare. No, I'll put it as my WhatsApp. Wait. <laughs> ah okay. yes. Why are you so excited running over there? I, know, I just really like games. <laughs> We're happy to have so you. Soy sauce. So you can pick a card and yeah. it will be a You can shuffle what the paper. What is this one? Mm. It's somewhere to wash the oh, teaspoon. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. You can shuffle the paper. You don't have to take the top. <laughs> She's so excited. Right. I hope yours is awful. We're actually excited for how excited you are. <laughs> okay. Truth. Mm -hmm. I become a little girl when... When was the most inappropriate time you fought it? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be eating? Oh this? my god. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if my husband was here, he would answer this. <laughs> Have you ever like farted during an interview or anything? Have I farted during an interview? Not or that like, I can remember. Because no, no one can hear on radio. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. People would find it inappropriate, but like in my house. Ah, uh, that's in your that's house. That's not inappropriate, girl. You better spill the tea. I, I, I can't. Do you know my co host? Huh? My co host can't <laughs> yeah, you. Me out. So I, I can't fart in the studio. Like, that would You come? Cool. Maybe in a lift. You guys aren't close Maybe enough. Maybe in a lift. <gasps> you fart in a lift. I can't remember. Possibly. First Who of all, you of all people being so shy. I could not fart in a lift. <laughs> I okay. could not. What you is just the fart most pretend embarrassing like it's not you? thing in your room? Embarrassing thing. Um, okay, it's only embarrassing because when I told one person, they were like, you they have how many? So I have very many wigs. They're about <laughs> like 16. No, That's there's not nothing wrong with that, honey. That's not embarrassing. I was nothing expecting wrong. you to say you have like 16 teddy bears or yeah, something. Yeah, me too. You know? I expect a teddy bear. No, bears. I don't have teddy bears. You don't yeah. have teddy bears. No, I think it's a lot. You have yeah. My wig collection is like... Is is a lot. Yeah, that's amazing to me. That's why I spy That's my like goals, now. right? <laughs> no, so that's, that's not embarrassing. Really <laughs> not. I don't get to eat anything. No. Oh, we We're can, so you lucky. can still eat for free. No. It's, fine. <laughs> it's so fine. There's a lot here, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy I had just enough left. Just <laughs> truth. <laughs> I was just. But like, it's really. Oh healthy. God. I went back with it. Tell me, Tadia. Um, where? Right? No. Oh. The truth. Man. Where is the strangest place you have peed? Oh my god. Like, um, uh, if I need to pee, I need to pee. There's no shame in that game. Um, I think I've peed, I mean, but I mean, roadside. Is roadside yeah, embarrassing? Depends on how close, depends on how close the road, road is to the road. And what you are wearing. <laughs> huh? yeah. Did you have to like remove your trousers? By the way, your okay, pants. so remember, I've maybe that's why before. Africa wants women in dresses. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, peed, <laughs> I peed um, when. No, it wasn't embarrassing. It was just somewhere in the bushes. But then when I went to pee, mm. I got burnt by poison ivy. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, uh. I'm the only one that That's laughs. embarrassing. You're terrible. I'm so terrible. terrible. And I didn't know what poison ivy looked like, but now I do. And I just peed on it. Um, the next thing, who is the person you most regret kissing? Oh, are I'm... you going to like name names? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Who he got to know. Kissing he has. A, he better be watching. Yeah. Understand how bad of a kisser he is. Regret a kiss? Why? Why? Why was I not doing it? It was too much. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think they. <laughs> she do. hasn't kissed anyone. She regrets. <laughs> Lydia is oh. selfish with her kisses. Oh Jesus! No, time is up. Oh no. Then I guess you should eat something. Oh, I can still answer. Um, 
I don't, I don't know. I can't remember his name, it's but he was, he was the <laughs> kisser of all mouth. Of all I told you. It was come in here, yeah, bring in your nose. <laughs> so that, that was my, that was my note. Dana. <laughs> I'm going again. It's fine. Oh my oh God. No. Oh, we're run out. We've run out of time. Oh, oh cool. Oh so it's oh only no. you, Asha, who got hurt. Uh. We're sorry. I yes. ate garlic. I don't know who, who's garlic the winner. Garlic is so healthy. It's butter is not you. healthy. I wish I took garlic. But you I have been taking garlic. But Just I felt like a dove. A dove. <laughs> And that would have been but you're embarrassing I, for, for a first day, you, you really are the true. champion. Yeah. You came to I feel like you're the winner. The champion. Yes. yes. <laughs> and for Adele, for confessing that she has farted in a lift, you are also the winner. Everybody has. Ah, in a lift. Oh, my God. I'm sure everybody has. No. You got winner. burnt by poison ivy. I, oh, my God. <laughs> That's my too bum. much. <laughs> That was that was a hard day, and I had to drive like an hour into. So you had to sit on. I had to sit. So I had to sit like this. <laughs> the whole ride. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but anyway, women empowerment. You don't laugh at your fellow yeah. women. You yeah. laugh with you got them. Right okay, no. Our, part of empowerment is being able to laugh at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Drop <laughs> yourself. <laughs> walk off set. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, we wish you nothing but the best Thank with you. everything you're, you're doing, so much, and guys. to have more face. You know, you said that you know how you inspired to have so much. You mm -hmm. felt alone because you couldn't point a face. Yeah. yeah. Well, you filled that deficit for so Absolutely. many of us Thank and so you. many other young Thank girls. You so so continue to push on and move forward. Thank um, you. do you have any last words for our motivational Wednesday for anyone looking here and would like one day to have not be like Adele, but yeah. have their own dream of. Adele. I think mm -hmm. just start. I mean, no matter how crazy it seems, and it's going to be lonely, yeah. uh, especially when you're doing something that's like you're not seeing examples. Yeah. Like I said, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be lonely, but don't focus on that. Just, um, just start and and take yourself, take it easy. Mm -hmm. Like be very gentle with yourself, so that on the mm -hmm. days that you're feeling like you can't do too much, yeah. Yeah. it's okay be to take it easy, yourself. take yeah. it easy, because all you have is yourself, so if you don't treat yourself, yeah. and I mean like physically, mentally, and spiritually, yeah. if you don't really take care of yourself, Give how yourself are you going to be 100% at what people. it is yeah. you want to do? Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good one. Yeah. Also, girl, how's married life? It's really good. Yeah? Yes. I look fine. Yeah. <laughs> we do. I is that like fun. a low-key? Yeah, I gotta to slip someone? in there. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Well, I just ask you, what's yeah. the one thing that your husband, when he was your boyfriend, did, yeah. and you're like, you know what? The That's one. the man of my life. Um, I, I'm not too did sure. Did or I, said? I don't think it's about things that they, you know, that he did or blah, blah. I think it's just the person he is. So it's the more when I peeled back um, yeah. mm -hmm. the layers, obviously, you know, you get to know people yeah. date by date, date by date. Yeah. Um, it's just that he's a very um, loving, understanding person mm -hmm. who's also very ambitious and driven. So yeah. Yeah. in his field, like, his work ethic is unmatched. Really? Like, 100. I feel very lazy. <laughs> like, wow. If you feel lazy, yeah, like this really guy do. really works hard. Mm -hmm. So, he never um, sleeps. <laughs> and that's motivating. I, I think yeah. you have to surround yourself with either such with people, mm -hmm. even your friends, mm -hmm. people who like challenge you and motivate you. And so, yeah. I think that for me is like very important. Yeah. yeah. And you see, you can be a strong woman who is strong willed, fighting for women empowerment, and still be in a loving, beautiful relationship. Mm -hmm. People yeah. think there's some kind of tie, but you know, um, guys, we are out of time. I know yeah. you wanted to say something. So you, you can tell us after, okay. right? Mm -hmm. um, we appreciate you so much um, for being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Adele, um, so much. for coming. So, excited. Um, so until tomorrow, 6 p.m., we want to make sure we see you here, here on mm -hmm. your favorite channel, Every TV. My name is Lydia KM. My name is Dana De Grazia. <laughs> I was your guest, Lily Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> and you are... Oh, do I have to say? Yes. Oh, oh my God. I, As like if I don't know you. I, no. <laughs> I'm Adele Onyango. Thank you guys so much for having me. Have, have a good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye.